Hello and welcome to Patch. I'm your host Paul James. Today I'm joined by Dan Kevin Leary mm -hmm. and Matto Phillips. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm late, guys. <laughs> oh. Now we've got to put, we've got to pop him here. He's the, our little Terminator head. Little Can exist for one more episode. Oh no! We'll disturb the audio, but that's all. <laughs> nicely done. There we go. Matto has been away. We we actually said RIP. I think in the last episode you changed your Twitter to suit. Yeah, Brilliantly yeah. done. But he <laughs> has risen from the grave. I'm back. And we're here to talk about the newly revealed Nintendo Switch Lite ah. and some changes to the, the Switch original itself. Switch. The um, Switch Lite got revealed, what, I guess as of when this goes up, about a week and a half ago. Mm. Uh, when I say when it goes up, as of yesterday, um, when we recorded it. Uh, and what are our thoughts overall with the Switch Lite? Well, Matter, you're someone that doesn't have a Switch, yeah. so were you tempted? Not really. Good. But, good, good. But it was another thing crossed off your little prediction thing. I'm on fire, man. Yeah. Who said past predictions are shit? Uh, I think I mean, all three of us at different points, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we were pretty, very good at not predicting stuff, and now all of a sudden we're. I'm doing my best to add credibility to this show. Yeah. <laughs> Just and then I make comments like that and undermine it all completely. <laughs> um, Damo, what were your thoughts on the, the oh, Switch look, Lite? I love it. I think it's great for a, a couple of reasons, right? And let's keep in mind, no, no detachable Joy-Cons. Yeah, that's fine. No dock. No care. Okay. No TV. So, which means, yeah, no TV. Yep. Um, and yeah, it's a, ba it's a basic bitch system. Yeah. But go. All right. Sorry, I just want to make you're, sure we You're, you're a that. family. You've got, mul you, you've got a Switch in the house. You've got, you know, mum, dad, two kids, your typical nuclear family. Nuclear. Nope. It's pronounced <laughs> nuclear. Right. Crop Homer Simpson in here, it's, Paul. Post, ed post editing. Go. You can buy, you know, mum and dad want to play. Actually, right here. Mum and dad want to play the, you know, TV. So the Switch is thing. Can't charge the Switch without the dock. Kid, I want to play TV. You, wanna, you know, they want to. They want to play Netflix. Yeah, they want to watch. Wanna play. They want to play <laughs> Bandersnatch or whatever, or oh. Bear Grylls or Minecraft yes. Story Mode, whatever. Stranger yes. Things. Like the the thing is, like, do we, do we just buy another Switch? Do we buy another dock, which is like a hundred bucks? Like, there's no cheap option to have another Switch. Even Joy Cons are a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? To have another player set up. Right? Yep. Now it's like, cool, we can just buy one of these. Longer battery life, I'm guessing. Just. Just. Extra half hour on each end. Yeah, well, you know. Think, but I'm sure you'll be able to charge and play. Like, yes, like, oh, like, 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 like a DS. Battery packs and all that sort right? of jazz. Yep, you wouldn't really have to worry about it cooking as much as. <laughs> as much the important as fourth wheel. <laughs> Continue. Like it's, it, the Terminator's back with us. It's, it's a good. It's a good solution for somebody that wants an extra switch in the house but doesn't want to fork out the money for another switch because i mean one it can use be used as a controller on smash two it's an extra screen if you're playing smash like you know it's it's got all the features there that you that you want for but you don't want to spend the full money yeah i mean like, you know imagine the parents are going to play pokemon they want, you know, their kids want to get me a Pokemon. Like, and it's like, oh fuck, man, I don't want to spend four hundred bucks to give you one game that you're gonna play the shit out of. Now it's like, what, three hundred, two hundred? Then I guess they better hope that that game isn't uh, Mario Party or the the classic one two Switch, because if you do, you're spending more than four hundred dollars. No, you have to buy like that's and that's what one of the problems with it. Like they've they've released a system. I'm just going to use him as an armrest now. Um, they've released a system where if you want to play all the games available, you actually have to buy more Joy Cons. You can't play Mario Party. You can't play One Two Switch because yeah. they require motion. Yeah, but that's it's not. And I know they're only like one I don't, two I games. I don't think I don't think one, they're two games. aiming at like I don't think they're aiming it as a family like playing console. I think it's more of a Hey, like this is for that the the full portable person. Oh, it's totally to get the 3DS person in the door. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> it does. They slowly phase that out, phase them out. But I look. I don't have an issue with it. I like it. I want it. If not, I don't need it. Stupid Nintendo <laughs> doing stupid things to me. Ah, <sighs> oh, bastards. But yeah, no. Look for the indie gamers, for the for the Pokemon players that are just gonna you know, want to you know wander around because I mean that's the problem you play Pokemon on the train 
I'm sure it's going to chow your battery. And you can't charge your switch without the that power cord. My epic without, battery pack. With it. Yeah, well, yeah, I'd worry but about yes, cooking them. No, that's been made in, uh, to work with it specifically. But anyway, um, there's a decent point. Mm-hmm. I've got no problem with the thing existing. Please, by all means, go for your life. I've got issues with not even the America, Nintendo America, Nintendo Australia, with the pricing. I don't know if yeah. you, oh, what? I don't know if you, if you, I don't know if you caught uh, the insider at all. Or anyone watching or listening, um, I did an episode dedicated to it where I ranted and raved for a substantial portion of that episode because um, you've got the Switch in America. It's uh, three ninety nine, yeah, three ninety nine, and got reduced down to two ninety nine. No, uh, is that like no, having, sorry, two ninety nine down to one ninety nine. Is that like a Prime Day thing? No, no. So this, uh, like, the the normal Switch, two ninety nine. The light coming in at one ninety nine. Hundred dollar oh. saving, American US dollars. But what's that converted to Australian dollars though? Oh, uh, I mean that's not. Uh, look, it works out to be. I don't know. There's Australian tax involved, but that's kind of not necessarily the point there. It, what I'll get to is actually the um the the raw discount. So a hundred US dollars is what they're saving, right? Yeah. Now we flash to Australia where, okay, yeah, price is different. There's Australia tax, there's, infl- uh, there's conversions, all that sort of stuff that goes on. So I'm not going to focus on the actual dollar amount, but mm. the actual difference. Oh, We've got an $80 amount. difference. Money doesn't work that way. If they get a $100 saving and then you just do some raw dollar conversion like we were talking about before, that should work out to be an even greater saving for us. Given, and it all works out to be proportional because, of course, we're paying more for the Switch in the first place. So, their hundred dollars, like our, like our, how, oh, it's not perfect, but like say our ten dollar, uh, one US dollar, sorry, one US dollar is like a dollar forty for us. So, a hundred, you know, proportion. I don't think that's exactly the current conversion rate, but suppose it is. So, a hundred US dollars should equate to a hundred and forty Australian dollars that we're saving. And in the end, it all still ends up proportional because of the fact that we're paying more for the Switch in the first place. Mm. So it doesn't. But instead, we're actually there's there's a le- uh, less discount just in terms of raw dollar value. Like the the math doesn't work out, so we're getting gouged a little so bit. Thirty percent. I would say Let's go by percentages. That would have been the easiest one. They are saving thirty percent. We are not. Yeah, we're 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 saving. That's significantly that's a, less. That's a good math there. Just a lot. Oh, yeah, we're, we're we're just not hitting that same that percentage saving. <laughs> Mathematically, it does not stack up. And I mean, coming, coming if from the, the math teacher, yeah, it's coming from the math teacher. <laughs> and I did preface that in my in the in the episode to make sure that I gave myself validity. Damn it! Um, but no, I mean, if, the if, the, if they <laughs> wheel out the whiteboard, and e equals m c squared. Therefore, the switch sucks. No, um, if they if they brought the the switch light out at I don't know two eighty, mm-hmm. so another forty dollars yeah. on top of what they've already done. It still, maths-wise, doesn't quite work out, but that's a price that's approachable. And I also spoke about in the episode how, and I think it's more of a psychology thing, so I don't have, I don't teach psychology this time. Now it's just my own judgment. If people see two ninety nine versus three ten, I know, I know it's like an eleven dollar difference or something like that. People get outraged. They see two versus three at the beginning there, and they actually it it triggers something up here that oh that's that's a, that's good value. And the fact that they've just, they've not even gone parity with the, the American discount, just in terms of raw dollar values, they could have done that and I think guaranteed themselves they would have si- a significant sales bump just sales. because of what it looks like when you see 200 and something versus 300 and something. Yeah, and I, it's only a small now that I do know that, is $300. I didn't know example. that. I didn't know anything about the price. <laughs> that just sounds really shitty to me though. It's just like the price that I really take issue with. For- I mean, you can buy a pretty sweet tablet for like a hundred bucks now. Yeah, I see through you, Nintendo Australia. And that was you the three DS, new, far too expensive, and then they apologised because they stuffed up and gave us a whole bunch of free games rather than any. Oh, yeah, was that, was that where the first came out? Yeah, you got the Was that where the first came out? It was like, oh, the three D sucks. Where they? Oh no, it wasn't no. that. And it was like it was just the yeah, thing didn't like, like, put out games. But when they brought the ad and everyone's looking at you, didn't see what the. Actually, oh yeah, yeah. It looks like oh, it's so real. Yeah, it's so real. Oh, no, it's no, jumping it's out nice. of me. No, it's not. It's a no, TV. It's not, how dare you lie? But to be fair, you can't portray it in a two D thing. So I get that. Yeah. But yeah, they they didn't support it with basically anything for ages. So they they gave an apology. I feel and like it's made anyone who owned it a an ambassador, mm-hmm. and they gave us ten. I think it was ten old games, virtual console games that I no, think to this players. point I don't think they've ever actually released for the public. So I'll give them that. 
Oh, but I thought it was like ten games and no, I never. I think they put like have a terrible game. Oh, I'm not. It was Oracle Ages and Seasons amongst those, and I don't think they've oh, actually made them public for everyone else. Well, no, I think I think Link's Link Link's Awakening. No, not Link's Awakening. Um, and there was obviously other games too. Link to the Past, I believe, was the one because you couldn't get it on, couldn't get it on game. You couldn't get it on the DS for ages and ages yeah. and ages. I do believe towards the end of its lifespan, even though it's still kicking. There was a couple of those games that you could you could pick up. Well, then fine. I've still got my little ambassador thing icon that appears in the thing. Like, yeah, Paul, you paid too much money for that shit that didn't give you anything to play. I feel like it's also a lie. You can't keep the light in a pocket. Do, when they... Yeah. Do, oh, yeah, it still do, doesn't do, fit. Do you, it do you pull it out of his pocket? It's, go, the, it's a light. Like, yeah, but the thing yeah, is, beforehand, they've just he's gone and like cut into the stitching and just made it a bit wider. <laughs> it's come out of my pocket. And you hear this... As he's reaching into his pocket. Um, so you saying you're saying you're tempted to actually buy it though still, or is the well no is, not now. Oh, <laughs> we just look. Cool. It, I'm gonna get this. It's one of those Pokemon things edition. where I, I see it and it's like it looks really cool. I I like it. I like Nintendo gear. I don't need it. I won't buy it. I've got a thousand other things I want to buy first. But it's just like, damn it. It's like about Nintendo. They sell their shit really well. They make you want stuff even if you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, they do that very well. Maybe it's the colors probably is the bright yellow so speaking of colors there's a new version of the switch like the original switch kind of a slightly upgraded one they've increased battery and a bit of processing yeah and changed the process to not eat battery. i say speaking of colors because they announced some flashy new colors uh, joy cons as well there's like an orange and purple combo that look really kind of quite cool and it's several other ones but matto yes is an upgraded version of the Switch still at the regular old price no like a boosted version of the regular Switch none of this light bullshit does that tempt you a little given bit. you're not having to pay anymore but maybe a deal <laughs> I can't refuse at all their deals I've refused this is this, I know what Nintendo's like Nintendo's just like buy it Ooh. we're not giving you anything buy it are you looking at these Joy-Con controller colours? No. I'll, I'll, I'll pop them on the screen somewhere I've made a couple of promises already so far what was the other promise I made? I don't know. Someone's head down there. I don't know. So Homer's head. Blue, Homer. Homer's head. So blue, which is not not neon blue and neon yellow, and then neon purple and orange. I don't like them. I, I don't mind the orange and purple. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind it. But like, I, I I'm, I'm not going to buy a new Joy Cons. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm I've got my of, Super Mario I'm Odyssey. Sick of, like, why don't they just give me two of the one? Cut, like stop this. There are ways to do it because I see people that have yeah, somehow got them. Okay, so I don't so know if, how you have the, if you had the original neon ones, if you brought the extra neon ones, I gave you the opposite. They there. gave you the opposites, uh, so you'd have double blue and or cheeky double bastards. Oh, so it's just another price grab thing. Oh, oh no, yeah, you'd, you'd yeah, have to buy extra controls anyway. So the fact oh. that they're just doing the opposite to give you the full set. Or we'll just go and buy, you know, a grey one pro controller. Yeah, get a pro controller. They look great. But um, so, so you still not, you still can't be tempted yet. Not yet. What do, you, what do you think it is, and this may be a good way for us to transition this conversation, what, what do you think it requires at this point? What, what is it missing at the moment? Or is it just purely the price of entry that's the issue? the price. At 430 or whatever, whatever we're doing it's it on now? special, it's 399 but that's just... It's but just there we go, 399 versus four. Care, that's man. right, I'm sorry. Yeah, Psychology, but, my man. But where's the game? Give me a game at a good price, and I'll listen. Because usually if it has a game, it's like it goes up to 500 and something. So what sort of game is it that you're looking for? I don't know. Uh, like, are there Switch games that are appealing to you at the moment? Because we've got, obviously, I mean, Breath of the Wild and Odyssey, people talk about as Game of the Year things, and they both came out Probably the same Probably those year. two. You've got Smash, you've got Kart. Obviously, Kart being an old one, but... But I'll say uh, the Zelda one and Super Mario would be the big two. <laughs> Jeez, that looks. Oh, I'm glad that looks good. But there that are a couple of well. games coming out this year, I think, that may interest me. Luigi's Mansion 3, damn it. Game too, yeah. of the Year. Excuse me, Fire Emblem? Fuck off. And that comes out this That's week. out this. Pretty soon. Next week. week. This week, the week we record Five this days. and watch this. It's this Friday. Three, uh, four days from when this goes four live. Days. Tuesday, th- Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, four yes! days. Yes! <laughs> and wait until every patched episode from now on references Fire Emblem Three Houses and... For the, the other rest one, of still the Fire year. Emblem, it's just a new Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's just a new Fire Emblem. We, we, we'll go back to talk about Echoes <laughs> at some point, I'm sure. And we'll talk about Warriors and we'll talk about the one on the mobile, I've forgotten its name. Hollow Knight. Heroes. We'll talk Hollow Knight too. It's not quite relevant, but we'll go with Hollow Knight because that's awesome. Silk Strong. It's... 
oh geez I can't wait to play that game so so you just need the, it's just more the right bundle rather than yeah that's all it is yeah maybe Christmas time they do that maybe 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 some of those old switch models like the, as this new model comes in yeah but I prefer the longer battery life that's the thing yeah I'd rather because I always heard like the battery life's a bit it's good it's given, good, given, given what it is yeah I mean I've never I've never been playing the switch long enough for was it, it five to, hours of the old one yeah. Depends on what you're playing. Yeah, they used Zelda as a benchmark when they said Breath of the Wild. If you just played that the whole time, it lasts like five to five and a half hours. Well, I wouldn't. I hope I'm not on there for five hours. That's yeah. But I mean, playing five hours Breath of the Wild handheld mode, killer. Like, there's no. I mean, I did that, but I mean, my circumstance was different. Because I remember, I think I've mentioned it maybe on patch, but I've certainly mentioned it to you at the very least that um, I like on my honeymoon flying up on the plane. Yeah, well, that's it. Was like a, going from Australia to bloody where did I actually land in the first place? In London, in the end. Um, you sure? Oh, yeah, I just it was like, damn, did I get? It? I went. We basically rocked up in London, then shot off to Paris. So I couldn't remember whether we just went direct to Paris, but yeah, we arrived in London. It was like a 16, really good, yeah. 16, 17 hour long flight, and I managed to between the initial charge that was in it and then a battery pack the battery pack that I was that I bought oh, the that worked battery with it. Pack. Um, I managed to start and finish Mario Odyssey and put a bunch of time into Breath of the Wild, which I'd been really slack with Breath of the Wild to that point and hadn't started it. Shocking. And managed to between the flight up where I got seventeen hours plus, you know, stopovers and bullshit. And then the other end on the trip home, got Breath of the Wild and Odyssey done. And I was like yeah, yes. His battery pack was running low, so he did the speed run. Where so he just no, no, shield so jumps on the guys, then flies across, kills Calamity Gammon, and like, you no, know. He's got his, is there a speed run? Well, there'd, be, there'd be speed runs. Breath of the Wild? I'll show you the animated version. It's hilarious. Yeah, isn't it? It's the backup battery pack for his battery pack. Yeah, no, he was charging I thought, his I thought about buying two. Do not get me wrong, I thought about buying two. And I made the right choice, because that, between that and the battery pack, which charged it two times. I got the whole flight done. He Brilliant. Got the whole flight done. <laughs> Good and done. Um, but yeah, though, Fire Emblem. We've got Luigi's Mansion. We've yeah, got yeah. Animal so Crossing we'll next year. Damon X Mark. Police one. Uh, police looking one. Oh, Astral Chain. Astral, Astral Chain one. looks yeah. amazing. That's tempting. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Suck it in by, by a platinum game. Nice. Um, um, Marvel Alliance. Obviously, there's Pokemon at the end of the year, fun. too. Yeah, I'm hearing really good things about Marvel. Obviously, it's it's out now, so go pick it up if that's what you're into. Um, but I can't say I've grabbed it yet. I'm, that's sort I of what I'm looking it. at going, oh, I might get it when it's cheap. I'm just going to wait. Maybe it'll come to the other consoles. I'll get me some trophies. Disgusting. I play my Nintendo games uh, consoles for their exclusives. And more and more for some of the indies because now... You can get the indies play, play play them on the portable. Go, play, yeah, play them on the run. That's That's handy. But I still go chasing the trophy. Cuphead. Yeah. Shut up, you. I've already done it on Xbox. I've already done it on Xbox. Looking at Matter, not you. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you didn't get all the trophies in that one, you bitch. And they call them achievements. I didn't get any trophies. Whatever. Oh, fuck those achievements off. Right. Get gems. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Cuphead. Good game. And yeah, look, that's actually a decent point. Like, I didn't get it finished on the Xbox. Mostly because I rage quit. But, um, but I wouldn't mind going back to it again. Anything else anyone wants to add to the Switch Lite or the Look, Switch the, the uh, re- upgrade? The Give me the pro. Technical revision, I guess we can call it, um, for the Switch. Smart move. At this time, a lot of consoles have to drop their price because of that, that oh, is it Murphy's Law or whatever it's called, with the silicon chips just become less valuable so you've got to drop your price kind of the ordeal they expect. some it's some bullshit say, console 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 on the way, but oh, please go but yeah, make, so make one up normally, normally, it. normally would but i reckon that nintendo went yeah, because skoromo said that they i want to buy a switch for 2.99 because we, we'd have to drop the price if we just revise it slightly don't make any super big changes bam you know you we get to keep it at the same price and pretty much keep making the same amount of money and Donald Trump and yes Donald Trump. <laughs> sorry just, just, oh, add, yeah. just adding to it sure <laughs> hashtag 2020 Trumps I'm not that's not one I'm cropping on the screen good any, any last thoughts about the light or the upgrade I'll wait for a pro that's what I'm banking on I'm banking on that rumour about oh, there being an upgrade another, like a proper upgraded version, version coming do it, Nintendo. Do it. But the, is this going to be a? It fully requires docked? two docks. You put gonna, two switches in there. It combines is, their powers. Is this going to be a fully docked mode? Because it's going the fully or, portable. Or is it a giant? Fully. Yes. 
Yeah, they went fully portable. Now I couldn't see them going fully docked. Fully docked, which is Joy-Cons that you can pair. It'll just be a beast and it'll just cost us way too much money and I'll buy it day one. It'll sound like an engine. Fucking hell. <laughs> Unless they do it next year, at which point I've already got an Xbox and a PS5 to buy next year. So maybe I'll wait. You that wraps up this episode then, I think. On, on that hot, stellar, very expensive note, um, where I'm going to continue to get mocked because I'll just bundle those alongside all the collector's edition pre-orders. Um, Twitter? You're off the talks. Tweet, love, and retweet. Uh, Matto. Uh, Matto underscore Phil. Paul James Games, and the website's player2au.com. Yeah, look at that. It's... Uh. Um, and so the website's uh, player2.net today you visit it there's awesome stuff there like share and subscribe to this channel if you're on podcast services Apple Stitcher give us a review five stars Stitcher 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 Stitcher. Stitcher. Uh, and Spotify and there's some awesome stuff there (laughs) the the, no the competition's over for that one don't 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 forget about it if you well if you want to kill some Nazis Wolfenstein's out on Friday so you could go do that you just won't get a free copy from us (laughs) Um, because the competition's over Uh, but otherwise yeah there's some awesome stuff there go and check it out thanks a lot for watching peace